Have you ever wanted to become a mechanical design expert? But the cost of buying expensive CAD software like SolidWorks AutoCAD or Creo stopped you? Well, today's video is for you. Meet FreeCAD 1.0, a powerful, free and open source mechanical CAD software that can do even the most complex design with ease. And the best part is, it's completely free. Yes, you heard it right, absolutely free. So, in this video, we will go from zero knowledge to hero level design using only FreeCAD 1.0. What is FreeCAD 1.0? FreeCAD is an open source 3D modeling tool with a large community of supporters and developers behind it. It is completely free and can be used on PC, Mac, or even Linux. The latest release, FreeCAD 1.0 was released in July 2022 and comes with many new features and improvements. It's a great tool for students, hobbyists, and small businesses who don't have the budget for expensive CAD software. Now let's take a look at the interface. When you first launch FreeCAD, you will see the default layout. You will notice several workbenches such as Part Design, Sketcher, Assembly, and Draft. Each workbench has its own set of tools, which can be accessed from the toolbar. You can also use the mouse to navigate around the 3D space. The Part Design Workbench is used to create solid 3D objects. The Sketcher Workbench is used to create 2D sketches, which can then be extruded into 3D objects. The Assembly Workbench can be used to assemble multiple parts together. The Draft Workbench is used to create technical drawings. Let's start with sketching. Click on the Sketcher Workbench, and then click on the Rectangle tool. Now draw a rectangle, and press Enter. Now click on the Circle tool, and draw a circle. Now click on the Line tool, and draw a line. Now, let's apply some constraints. Click on the constraint icon and then click on horizontal. Now the line will be horizontal. Click on vertical and the line will be vertical. Now let's add some dimensions. Click on the dimension tool and then click on the line. Type in 100 and press enter. Now you have a sketch with a rectangle and a circle. Now let's go to part design and click on pad. Click on the sketch and press OK. The sketch is now extruded into a 3D object. You can also use other features such as pocket, fillet, and chamfer. One thing to note about FreeCAD is that it is a parametric software. This means that you can change the dimensions of an object at any time. Now, let's try something more advanced. Let's create a simple mechanical assembly. Again, this is optional if you are using add-ons. If you are, you need to install assembly 4 or a 2 plus workbench. Show how parts are placed and constrained together. A simple mechanical assembly could be a piston and cylinder or a bracket with bolts. Once you're done with your design, you can create a technical drawing using the TechDraw workbench. Here you can add dimensions, annotations, and different views of your model. You can export the drawing as PDF or DXF, which can be used for manufacturing. Let's take a look at some of the export options. You can save your project in the FreeCAD format. You can also export your model in STL format, which can be used for 3D printing. You can also export your model in STEP format, which is a professional CAD format. And finally, you can export your drawing in DXF format, which is a vector-based format. Now let's look at a real-world project example. Let's say you want to design a flange, a bracket, or a gear. Show the design process from sketch to final 3D part. Remember, the best way to learn is by doing. In this video, we learned about FreeCAD 1.0, an open source mechanical CAD software. We also looked at the interface, how to create a sketch, how to extrude a sketch into 3D, how to create a simple assembly, and how to create a technical drawing. Here are some tips for going from zero to hero. Join the FreeCAD forums and communities. Practice with real life projects. Explore macros and Python scripting. Keep learning from online tutorials and documentation. And just like that, you went from zero to hero in Mechanical CAD with FreeCAD 1.0. Thanks for watching. Yes. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And we'll see you in the next video.